Can you hit me with some water? Are you already? Listen, I double dab it. Thank you. Now to Mika's, and this is another local Toronto sauce. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, we messed up. She has on her website, Tamika, who makes the sauce, a, a kind of like a trial pack where you get three varieties in small bottles. These sauces are so delicious, we should have just got the regular sizes. So we messed up. So we actually decided to put in her suicide in the middle. And I don't know why I did that actually, but we're just gonna do it. I was supposed to put out the signature pepper sauce, but I didn't and we're already filming, so we're just gonna do this. Okay. This is thick. I'm already scared about this one. <laughs> well, this one, yeah, we're leaving behind the more liquidy sauces and everything's turning into a it's thicker like paste. Like a paste, yeah. Okay, ready? Ready? All right. Mmm. Flavor is nice. Mm-hmm. Get the flavor right away. Yeah. And the heat sneaks up on you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm not feeling the heat yet. No? Mm hmm. Oh, interesting. Definitely flavor town, though. Yeah. It's got a, I don't know, a rounder, richer flavor. So you are quite talented in person. I would say you have three big talents. Um, singing, violin, DJing. <laughs> Fuck, marry, kill. <laughs> I didn't expect you to say that. You gotta pick my... Okay. Can't have everything. Um, oh, that's very hard. Don't kill DJ as it's gonna hurt my feelings. Please don't. <laughs> well, DJ Hing's already dead. <laughs> True. <laughs> COVID did it for us. Um, okay, well, I was going to say fuck DJing. Okay. That's a one night thing anyways. That's good. Yeah, I like that. We're going to kill the violin. Oh. Yeah. And I, I'm putting this in the context of some sort of like zombie apocalypse, mm -hmm. if you will, because I couldn't carry the violin with me. Interesting. Like, right, right. And maybe the, yeah, the voice is like... That's what you carry married. with you. Married. Yeah. I feel bad now. I'm looking at my violin case. You can't see it off camera. And I <laughs> married the violin long ago. It was my first true love. Now I feel really bad. It, it's okay. It's just a I mean, fun I would, wing I, show. I would kill TJ, actually. I... <laughs> So that was Mika's, and we, we tried the suicide, not the traditional pepper sauce. Also, order the larger size. Okay, okay next, Mojo. Mojo hot sauce, which I believe is out of Mississauga. Um, and this is another one, really excellent customer service, really great to talk to them. Lots of varieties on the website. Thick. This is another thick one. Um, and this is a, all, all of these also I should mention are small batch, just so you know. So, here we go, and this is a, Oh, this, is, this has been a favorite in the house. Yeah, this is a citrus habanero. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? This is hotness. Yeah. Less flavor. Less flavor. You can still get the citrusy bits yeah. of it though. Definitely like a, a very direct heat. Yeah, this one around the house is really good with everything. Like, it's not going to take over. It'll just yeah, give you, it just it'll just add you. kick to whatever you're already eating. Do you have a favorite piece of gear? Yes. Okay. Best piece of gear is SB1200, Emu SB1200. It's like a, a drum machine. <laughs> you know it. I don't. It's once in all the hip hop revolution documentary they all, oh, all the proofs yeah. have it in behind them the big gray machine wait, wait, wait. why is that your favorite uh just it's it makes the sound of the 90s hip-hop like whatever you put into it is going to come out like the music you kind of grew up on if you were like a gen x hip-hop kid 90s are you using it on your ep now 
No, this one is more synthesizer, so less sampling. But it's just really good. This one's good for sampling vinyl and makes everything grisly. Grisly. <gasps> you ready? Yeah. All right, our next sauce is Galas. And what, what's the base? What does it say on there? Uh, pepper sauce. Uh, doesn't really say, it just says pepper. Yeah. Doesn't give like a specific name, but what they're usually... On the website, I can't remember what pepper. We'll have to check that out. Okay, ready? This is good. This is flavor and heat. Yeah. If you eat it with the chicken, it kind of masks it, but if you just like taste it on its own. I remember I put this on a piece of bread. Mm. That didn't, that wasn't a good time. This one also is a sneak hitter. It's coming in now. Are you feeling it in your nose? No. This is good. Good kick. <clears throat> okay. Whew. How are you not drinking any water? I don't know, I'm trying to be strong for the camera. <laughs> okay. Would you rather, this is like a hypothetical question. That's okay. a little bit like the last one. Would you rather be pulled apart by a thousand kindergarten kids okay. or Fight a bear with shark arms. Like I have shark arms or the bear has them? The bear has shark arms and he's fighting you. Or you get pulled apart by a thousand kindergarten kids. Shark arms. Yeah, you don't. I don't want little kid fingers. Quicker death? Oh. Why? It's hot. I should have done the milk. You don't have any milk. I'm so excited. You ready? Mm-mm. Oh. Okay. All right. This is number seven hot sauce. It should um, be our hottest one. It should be the hottest one. It is the number seven Mexican hot sauce. Again, local Toronto sourced. And this is the cayenne, but it contains the reaper pepper. So that's what makes it oh, super shit. hot. Okay. It's red. I know, I'm a little... This is the last one. Okay. Okay. I don't know how they do the real show. It's so hot. So rumor has it, you have watched all 10 seasons yes. of Ink Master. Oh, my favorite. Yet, you have no tattoos. Oh, yeah. So explain your fascination with this program. Ooh. I like competitive art, like art is very subjective, like you kind of do your own thing and it can be just a free expression, but I like, I like how there's judges and they're cutting them down, critiquing them. Um, reminds me a bit of the DJ competitions I used to do back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't I have tattoos? That's a good question. So, yeah, part of it too, I'm like looking like what kind of tattoo I would want or what artists I like. Right. What's your least favorite type of tattoo art? Oh, uh, the new school, <laughs> with the bug-eyed, those weird like cartoon tattoos is not my thing. Yeah. So yeah, you also know your reality TV. This is funny because we didn't really plan this. <laughs> if you were stuck... We didn't tell each other the questions. Yeah, we don't yeah. know. If you were stuck on a desert island and you could only watch one season of Jersey Shore, <laughs> what would it be? The original series or the, the reboot? It can be any Jersey Shore offshoot. Is there one season that just grabbed you or that just had the most um, spoke to you? The most drama was definitely in the first original Jersey Shore okay. season. It's not the reboot. Although the last episode of the reboot was pretty good with Angelina's wedding. Um, I'd have to say... Uh, well, some of you are on a desert island, so... You, maybe you want nuance, not just drama. Because you got to watch it over and over again. Mm, then season, probably season three. 
Okay. When they had just gone to Miami in season two, they went back to the shore in season three. Okay, interesting. Yeah. All right, I'm learning lots about you. This is great. A lot of great wings. <laughs> Hot sauce. Hot and knowledge. Sauce. Feel closer to you now. <laughs> All right, wrap it up. To take it out, where can people find your music and follow you? All right, check me out. Instagram, DJ Cosmo CA. And if you want to give me money, check me out on DJ Cosmo CA Bandcamp. Ooh la la, what about you? Where are you at? What um, corner you, of the internet are you at? You can find me at Maya Kiltron on Instagram. And if you want to support all my projects, I have some vinyl and digital sales on Bandcamp. So I'd always prefer you to go to Bandcamp, but if you have to, you can find us both on Spotify under our names. Um, but thank you for joining us. This was episode one and two of Fired Up with My Kiltron. Thank you for joining us, DJ Cosmo. Thank you, people. Right. Hey there, thanks for watching Fired Up with Maya Kiltron. Make sure to tune in every Friday for a new episode. Smash the like and hit the subscribe. If you have an idea for something that we might get fired up about, make sure to leave me a comment below. Bye!